Katia V5, we're gonna check extracting curves. So, if we're gonna see the information, we can see that uh, we can create 3D curves from selected holes, and uh, those can be extracted from the mesh. We can also define the limits of the curves along the hole of the, using the, um, the tools associated with that. And curves can be generated from uh, the segments. Now, before I can uh, use it on this um, car hood, for example, if I will just enable extract curve, I will see that over here I already have a selected um, face. This is because the model has been um, created within um, Blender and the mesh has an upper side and a, and a bottom side. So as we can see, we're going to have an extracted um, area over here. So I can choose that, I can click apply and now uh, we're going to have that curve defined over here. Now if I will go with um, brush select and I will select those triangles over here. I will click OK and now if I will press delete we're gonna see that again visually nothing will happen but we will see that over here we have an uh, embossed um, slightly embossed area. So if I will check that within the wireframe we're gonna see that the wireframe will no longer have those upper upper elements if I will go now with extract curve, we're going to see that that will be also available as a selection. If I will go with brush select, and on the same hood I will select, um, for example, that region over there, I will click OK, and now I will not press delete, I will use the delete triangles in this case, we're going to see that this will, um, will do the same, so we have that deleted area at the top. We see it visually over there. If I will change the color, this will make it slightly more visible. And underneath that, if I will do another selection, so something like this, click OK, press delete. Now that will delete all of those. Within Shape Sculptor we can do a section cut, but I can always jump to part design. And over here within part design we can enable the dynamic sketching. We can also select the plane, and in this case, as we can see, I will just have this slightly reposition. The first thing I need to do is to make this longer so that it will be easier to, to work with. And afterward, I can drag it around and I will see within the section view how that surface will uh, look. So we see that the surface will have a, the mesh will have a top surface and a bottom surface. And if I will move this a little bit, this is slightly offset at the, from the model, since this was exported from Blender. You can also check my previous video where I discuss all those of those aspects. As we can see, we can do that sectioning within the model. Now, if I will jump back to Shape Sculptor, let's check exactly how we can use the extract curve. And we're going to see, since I also deleted the top face and the bottom face of uh, that hood mesh, we can now select that, for example. And uh, we're going to have some additional tools over here. So underneath the extract option over here, we're just going to have OK and apply. But um, let me see. There should be another um, another button. So if I take a look over here on the on the vase example, when I will go with extract curves, we're gonna have this tool palette appear over here. So that is the tool palette. 
If you're gonna check with right click, this will be the tool section, but this will be the tool palette. So if I will just enable the tool, that won't um, have the tool palette enabled. And uh, we can also show and hide the advanced dialog controls in this case, which will be the fitting parameters. So we have the, the degree and the tolerance. I can select an element and I will see those. If I will just click apply like this, we're going to have the newly defined curve over there. But if I will go with the fit option, I can change the parameters. So for example, to with a tolerance of 0 0.1, I can click apply. And um, in this case, that um, curve might be different. So this is the initial one. And this will be the second one. As we can see, it's not exactly positioned on that. This is also a bigger um, hole on this case study element. Let me highlight that over here since this will be smaller. So I will go with extract curve. For example, for this one. If you are going to go with a tolerance of 2 without the fitting option, if I will click apply, we're going to have the following curve over here. And we can also, if you want to split that into multiple curves, we can just drag this till point. And now if I, if I will click apply, let's check the output curve. So this will be 37, this will be 39, which is the top one. And that means curve uh, 40 will be the bottom one. So by dragging that till the button, you can have those splitted. So it extra curve. If I want to split this into multiples, smaller curves, I can just move that. If you want a point to be um, removed, so a segment from that uh, cutout, you can go with the remove tool and that will eliminate the, um, the blue dot. And we're going to see how those segments will be joined together. So if I will jump back to the car hood over here, we're going to see that we have the extract um, hole option over here. For some reason that uh, tool palette is not active over here. And uh, that is not also enabled. So as you can see, that usually should pop up within the viewport, but for this case study, it doesn't for some reason. But again, we have the same functionality. If I will move that point over here, I will click apply. I will click on yes. We're going to see that this will be one um, curve and the other one will be just, uh, just an edge. Yeah, so this was an overview of the extract curves function within Katia V5. I will position a similar video to the left. I will add the Katia V5 tips and tricks at the top. And I will also add a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.